Hey everybody, welcome back to HemingwayLand.com. Today we're going to be going down to the southern part of New Mexico to Doña Ana County to talk about one of the properties that we have down here. Both properties that we have in inventory right now are in the 20 acre range. One is priced at 55,000, one is at 40,000. Today we're going to be discussing the $40,000 20 acre property that is DANM 12A3. And if you click learn more, as always, we will learn some more. So first off, um, this video of uh, me, a disembodied voice, talking to you about land is going to be put up here into the headline spot. The video that's here currently, this drone video of the property, will be moved down to the bottom of the page below the photo gallery. I would highly encourage anyone who's interested in this property to, uh, to check out that video. It's going to give you an excellent sense of the surroundings, the terrain, and of course the property itself. So scroll all the way down and you can watch that. Um, all right, first off, let's begin with location. So one of the... Uh, things that I really like about this property is how close this is to Las Cruces. Uh, for those who aren't aware, Las Cruces is the second biggest city in the uh, state of New Mexico as far as population goes. So of course there's a lot to do in Las Cruces and this property sits, hang on, let's measure distance, only look at that, 13 miles outside north northeast of Las Cruces. Um, this is notable because um, I've bought a lot of properties up by Albuquerque, up by Santa Fe, up by Taos. You it's very difficult to get anything um, that close to a major city at such an affordable price. Um, as noted, this is about $2,000 an acre, and particularly down here in Doña Ana County, uh, prices are, are nowhere near that on a price per acre basis. They are much more expensive. But we'll get to that later. Anyway, so first of all, let's talk about how to get out to the property. You take the 25 out to the 70, let's say, presuming you're coming from the 25. 25 out to the 70, and then you're going to exit off this Holman Road. You can take Holman all the way up to Outback, Outback Drive. This is a fairly straight shot out to the property. Um, quick thing here, you can see that uh, this is a pretty residential neighborhood out here, uh, mostly residents and some businesses as well. But what does that mean? It means that uh, all of these roads out here are pretty well maintained, all paved roads and power all throughout this area. In fact, if we get up closer to the property, hello, kind of zoom in here, you can get a sense of exactly what the surroundings are like out here as far as power lines being ubiquitous in the area, uh, as far as the kind of homes that are out here, a lot of mobile, a lot of modular homes. Um, this property is, hello, this property is zone T2, so of course it's uh, mobile modular friendly. You can do that, or you know, if you're buying all 40 acres to build some kind of big ranch, you can of course do that as well. Um, anyway, let's talk about this. Go over here. You can kind of get a sense of the property boundaries here of this 20 acres. Um, as noted, this is a kind of residential neighborhood, residential area, and you'll see most of the subdividing out here is like this, these smaller acre properties. Um, the few properties that are actually bigger than this 20 acres all have homes on them from what I have been able to tell. So it's a very large property and um, it's the largest available within this residential area, at least that I'm aware of. Anywho, there is fencing on the northern and eastern boundary of this property. And actually, if you come back to our photo gallery, kind of scroll down, you can get a sense of, let's do this. So first off, you can get a sense of the surrounding area out here, the roads, the power lines, the, the homes. Um, and then you eventually come here. So this is these are the gates that are outside the subject property, outside this property that we own. They have uh, private property and no trespassing signs on them. Those were put up by the previous owner sometime in, I believe, the Carter administration. So uh, we own it now. Feel free to trespass as much as you like to go out there and check out the land, check out the property, uh, and get a sense of it's something that you that you do want to purchase. Again, if you scroll through this photo gallery, you'll get a sense of some of this fencing um, if you notice here, there seems to be a physical address on the property. I've never been able to confirm that, but supposedly 150 Outback Drive, uh, I don't know, but anyway. Um, so you can get a sense of the fencing of the gate that's out there. I would also encourage uh, everybody just to check out these photos because our photographer outdid himself on, on this property. Anyway, back to this. So point being fencing along the northern and eastern sides of the property. Uh, in regards power, there is no, there are no power lines on the property itself. But if you kind of click on this um, satellite view, you can see there's homes over here. There's some mobile homes, modular homes down here, 
homes over here as well, and all along this street there is power. So it should not be difficult to get power out to the property, nor should it be all that expensive. A lot of power companies will come out and not charge all that much uh, for something like that because they know they're getting a, um, you know, a customer for life if they're bringing power out to their property. So a lot of power companies will work with you on that. But point being, um, they don't have to you know, extend power lines 10 miles. They have to extend it about a tenth of a mile out to the property. Anywho, uh, this property is zone T2. We write a little bit about that up here uh, as far as what you can do with, um, I think it's, hang on a second, it's like three, um, something like three large animals for every acre. So technically, I guess you could bring 60 horses onto the property, something like that. Um, you can get a better sense of that if you click on this PDF right here. It'll bring up the T2 zoning laws within the Dona Ana County. Um, I always tell interested buyers that it is best to call the county directly and ask them any questions about zoning, any questions about can I do this, can I build that, etc. because the county is going to have a far better sense of it than we will. Uh, down here is the assessor's office and the phone number for them. And in Doniana County, it's not called planning and zoning. It's called, quote, community development. So you can call community development at that phone number and talk to them about this. By the way, just to kind of help you out with this, sometimes when you call community development, you talk to them about a property that doesn't have a physical address, like 123 Main Street, they're going to ask for either the parcel number or they're going to ask for the legal description. I think in this particular instance they'd ask for this number um, but then they'd be able to ballpark what part of the county it's in and you know how those zoning laws apply to it and they'd be able to speak um, more intelligently about that by the way quick thing in regards to scouting this property we have a lot of people who want to scout our properties that's fine we encourage it particularly when you're you know spending not insignificant sums of money like this uh, easiest way to do this if you just click on directions here uh, you can enter your start point, whether that's your home or the hotel that you're staying at while you're in Las Cruces or El Paso, whatever, and you'll get turn-by-turn -turn directions out to the property. I am recording this video on the 4th of July, so perhaps you can hear the explosions outside my window. I don't know. Anyway, turn-by-turn uh, -turn directions, or you can bring this listing page up on your smartphone, click on these coordinates, and it will, and it will uh, give you turn-by-turn -turn directions, at least in a smartphone. All right, let's talk about price. Uh, if you go to Land and Farm, New Mexico, and we go up here, by the way, look at that, a Hemingway Land property is in the headline spot. Dona Ana County, click on search. Okay, so uh, our two properties come up first. Let's do a search of just, uh, let's, you know, let's not even uh, discriminate by acreage. Let's just price lowest property first. <clears throat> This is what prices are like in this county. Less than an acre for $15,000. Here's a five acre property for 20,000, and that's probably pretty competitive. Uh, this $20,000 five acre property actually sits pretty close to the subject property that I'm reviewing in this video, as you can see here on the map. This one sits just north of the 70 here. Um, so you get a sense of what prices are like out there. Five acres for $20,000, or do you wanna buy 20 acres for $40,000, you know. Anyway, let's go back to the search page. Um, but as you go through these, you get a sense, $30,000 for four and a half acres, 30,000 for one acre, uh, 37,000 for one acre. You know, obviously this is not the most scientific uh, thing in the world because some of these properties have different features, different amenities um, that may actually make the thing more expensive. I think in a lot of cases you've got uh, realtors just trying to either get as much money as possible or they have a, a wildly, you know, overinflated sense of value uh, for property. Whatever the case, as you'll see here on the second page of results, this is the 20 acres that we're speaking of here in this video, priced at $40,000 here. Or here's the one acre property priced, priced at $40,000, you know. So uh, as noted earlier, this is a really good um, really inexpensive on a price per acre basis and you know the other thing is it's a good investment uh, as far as property goes because maybe you don't want to use the whole 20 acres maybe you only want to use five of the acres you can easily subdivide this into five four acre lots or two ten acre lots sell off the other one uh, you know as you saw on the last page the cheapest five acre property in the county is going for twenty thousand dollars so if you can sell you know five ten fifteen twenty forty sixty thousand if you can sell you know, the other three five-acre properties make $60,000. You'll 
immediately pay off the forty thousand dollar price tag, and plus you've got an extra twenty thousand to 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 play with to help build that you know ideal dream home or ranch property on these twenty acres. Anyway, so as always, we are competitively priced. Um, I just want to talk about the buy now button here. If you click on this, it's going to take you to a, a secure checkout page. We're looking for a earnest money deposit of $1,000. That earnest money deposit is uh, non-refundable. Uh, just to be clear, uh, once we have that $1,000, we're going to contact you about how you want to fund the rest of the deal. Uh, we highly encourage our buyers, particularly at a, at a price point like this, to close through title and escrow. We closed on this property through Las Cruces Abstract and Title. So they will have the file fresh on their desks, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but point being, it should not take long for them to close on this. Uh, ultimately, the person with the gold, uh, person with the money, makes the rules. So if you have a title company that you want to use, we can use them. But this is just path of least resistance. Um, of course, we can accommodate any way that you want to close this transaction, but we, we encourage you to, uh, to close through title. One last thing I want to mention. This is a non-refundable earnest money deposit for a reason, which is not because we like to extract as much money out of people as possible, but because we set the threshold so high because we want to deal with serious buyers and we want to deal with people who understand that the due diligence, the research um, is something they have to do on their end. Uh, before they start committing to uh, purchase prices like this, etc. Just wanted to make that clear. Anyway, uh, all right, that is all for now. Thank you for watching. As always, if you're on YouTube, you can click the little uh, little bell below the video here, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or you can find us on the Twitter at Hemingway Land. All right, thanks again for watching.